Good afternoon, I'm Malcolm Jordan and this is your Midday News Fix for Wednesday the 12th of June. The police Eagle helicopters joined the search for the missing Morakopa children as tips flood in on their whereabouts. Police yesterday announced an $80,000 reward for information and will consider giving immunity to people assisting the father, Tom Phillips. He and his children, now aged 8, 9 and 10, have been missing since 2021 and are believed to be in western Waikato. Acting Detective Inspector Andrew Saunders says family members want to see the children return safely. The mother of the children is very happy that this has occurred and Tom's parents have also been informed. They want this over as much as everyone else. A man's been charged with murder after a stabbing at a Waikanae beach property. One man was killed at the Napier Grove address north of Wellington yesterday afternoon. The accused is due to appear in the Porirua District Court today. Other ways Olivia Hope's hair made their way onto Scott Watson's boat are being considered. Watson, who's in jail for murdering her and Ben Smart in 1998, is currently making his second attempt before the Court of Appeal this week. Strands of what are believed to be Olivia Hope's hair found on Watson's blanket is a focal point of the appeal. Open Justice reporter Catherine Hutton says a forensic scientist claims secondary transfer should have been in her initial evidence. She's saying it's possible that at the party the hairs got transferred from Olivia Hope onto someone, then onto Watson, and then Watson took them out to the boat. A post-mortem examination of a baby boy who died in Waikato's Tekuiti is expected to take several days. The 10-month-old died on Saturday afternoon. Police say Mustafa Ali had suffered violent blunt force trauma that didn't appear to be accidental. Detective Inspector Graham Pitt-Kethley says investigations of its type can be challenging. Non-accidental injuries on children are one of the most complex cases that our detective and investigator can work on for a number of reasons and that complexity is also present. More people are leaving the country than ever before. Latest figures show from StatsNZ show more than 130,000 people moved out of the country in the year to April, the highest on record. The number of New Zealand citizens leaving also reached a record high. More than 229,000 people moved here, down slightly on the record high reached last year. That resulted in a net migration gain of over 94,000. Paid parental leave will increase from next month, bumping up the maximum weekly rate by more than $40, going from $712 a week to nearly $755 before tax and is available to eligible parents for up to 26 weeks. Organisers are excited as the first day of the 56th annual Field Days begins today. The agricultural event is expected to attract more than 100,000 people into Hamilton's Mystery Creek over the four days. To sport, a pioneering paddle looms at the Paris Olympics for New Zealand. Max Brown and Grant Clancy will become the country's first athletes to race a canoe rather than a kayak. The difference is that kayakers sit and canoeists kneel. John Rahm has withdrawn from golf's US Open this week due to a foot injury and 15-year-old Charlie Woods is offering coaching tips to Dad Tiger. A further blow to the underprepared Black Caps at Cricket's T20 World Cup. They've missed a net session due to a downpour in Trinidad ahead of tomorrow's match against the West Indies. I'm Malcolm Jordan, that's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at 5pm from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.